All right, so I managed to fix my sleeping schedule. Yay, we're up at like, I was up at 5 a.m. Uh, now we're gonna be doing a video um, pretty much about the newest version of Arch install because I wanna actually go and take a look at how it's progressed and uh, see if I can find anything new. So yeah, I'm gonna just center that the best that I can. We're gonna go for UEFI because it's not the Stone Age. And we're also going to choose 16 gigs of RAM and let's say about 100 gigs of space. And we're going to just hit create and going to full screen this. By the way, this should be the right resolution. Uh, I hope. I did test this beforehand, so we should be good. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that looks that looks about normal. You're wondering why I have my hood on. Ugh, it's because the headphones are cold in the morning, so it's kind of like uh, it's a bit annoying. One second, let me just let me just fix that. There we go. Did I fix that? I did not fix that whatsoever. There we go. Yes, that looks correct. We're gonna just type arch install. We're gonna see what pops up. Why is that looking... Okay, there, it fixed itself. You know what? OBS is going on the other monitor. I don't know what it is with Linux and the left side monitors, but the OBS just tends to freeze the frame every once in a while, and it bugs me. So I don't see anything too different right now. You guys could see it a lot more zoomed in than I can. Uh, Arch language, English 100%. Locale is correct. Mirrors and repositories. Let's select our region. Now, what they need to do when you select the region is to automatically calculate the fastest repository and put it on top. Will they do this? No. Why? Why would they? And there's your multi-lib repo. I don't know why they moved it in here. That was a bad decision. All right. Remounted configurations. That's when you're about to bring your own stuff in. Manual partitioning, used best effort. That's what we're going to do. XFS. This is not a guide, by the way. Don't use it as one. This is just me taking a look at things because this is a Linux channel and this is what we do here. Uh, bootloader. I'm going to go with Lemon because Lemon's just so much better. Unified kernel images are disabled. Install. Th this is new. Installed to removable location. I've never seen this before. This is new. That's kind of interesting. Host name is Arch. Authentication... I'm from Cape Breton. I can't say certain words. So we're basically just setting the root password. And yes, that is an actual thing where when you're from somewhere, you can't say something. I found out that many times. So I know a lot of Cape Bretoners who also cannot say the same words that I can. Uh, graphics driver, we can leave. Greeter, we can leave. By the way, if you're an NVIDIA user, your graphics driver is totally handled here and here. Please try to remember that, okay? And yes, these do fully work and everything will be just fine. So if you're worried about drivers when it comes to Arch install, you don't you don't have to be. Oh thank god. Alright, applications can be ignored. Uh can they though? No, they can't. Bluetooth has been put in here. What a bad decision. There's a lot of bad decisions that are going on in these type of installers. This should be pretty straightforward, right? You should have its own Bluetooth little menu thingy. And it should also basically show you where your audio is. It should not be stuck in application. That's kind of silly. Network configuration. You want to use network manager at all times. Time zone. LFX. And other than that, let's do the installation. Let's see what happens. So, if all goes well, this should only take about two to three minutes to install at most. Maybe less, depending on your actual internet speed. <clears throat> so, stop what you're doing, walk away from the computer, and go grab a nice, refreshing Mountain Dew Voltage. A friend of mine brought this to me. An apple. Called me fat. It's not fun. I'm kidding, he didn't call me fat, but he did bring me a drink, and I was very happy with that. Because he knows how much I love these things. So it's one of those, enjoy your stuff, dude.
you need some happiness. Now, Mountain Dew Voltage actually makes me very sleepy. So I was like, okay, I'm going to drink one of these. I'm going to go to bed at like 2 p.m. And I'm not going to wake up till 5 p.m. And that's a lot of time, right? That's the, that's time I could be making videos and stuff for you guys. But I didn't end up doing that because I need to sleep. My I need to fix my sleeping schedule so that I can actually have more time in the day to make videos. Because when it's at nighttime, I'm nocturnal. And it's like, all I want to do is play video games, listen to music, and code. But when it's in the daytime, I want to make videos, listen to music, and code. Since I can't do any more of those exercises, because they are almost hospitalized. No, they did hospitalize me. The physio ones. I'm doing a different type of movement, though. So we started this at four and it ended at six exactly. So that was like two minutes. Not bad. Reboot system. And if this fully works, we should have a fully functioning arch system here. Let's turn that back on. Maximize that screen. Starting up the boot. The boot has worked. Lemon is good. Now, for those who are going to ask, why not system MD boot? I didn't want to. Why not Grub? Because Grub is extremely outdated and Lemon is a lot better than Grub. I'm just going to say it. Lemon is superior in every way to Grub. Not only that, but it's pure UEFI. If you're still using Master Boot Record uh, in this day and age, well, I got some words for you. You're wrong. And don't do that. Because you're wrong. Let me turn off the filter here real quick. There we go. So that's actually how I get 1440p on my monitor. Actually, I think this is a little bit bigger than 1440p. I think 150 would be more equal to 1440p. Maybe that's 1080p. Hmm. See, because the, the percentages here make no sense. You know, let's try 125. Oh, yeah. Okay. 125 would be... A little bit too much. 133. Yes, that feels 1440p. Good. So there you go. We have a full Arch install ready to go. Everything is functioning minus the whole hardware acceleration deal. But that's that's not something I can do. That's not something I can affect. And my head wasn't in the way the whole time. So there was minor changes to the Arch install. But it's a lot faster than it was before, which I do highly appreciate. So it did choose the fastest mirrors. I think I saw close to what, 196 megabytes a second sometime in there. I was paying attention, but this should basically get you up and going with a bare bones system, with your desktop environment, with a browser and everything else that you need uh, to do, get everything installed and ready. Please do not let people discourage you from having Arch Linux as your first distro. Those people, they just don't learn as well as you possibly can. And that's something you need to remember. Arch is probably one of the best distros to start with as a beginner because you're going to learn so much. And that everything you learn will apply to every other distro, which is super important. Learning the terminal commands, things like this, these, these matter. Despite what people think they do. Wow, this is a really, really blue background. I just realized this. But yeah, uh, all of this matters. And you need to find something that's not two years out of date. If you know what I mean. Is it in appearance? It is. I haven't used Mint in so long. Uh, there we go. That looks better. It looks better on my webcam. That's what I mean. Better than this, because then I get multicolored. And I hate that look. Uh, maybe this one? Nope. This one? Now I'm blue again. Yeah, we'll just go with black and white. <sighs> the point is, installing Arch is a big learning experience in itself, and it's not something to be scared about. Simple as that. You can dive into Arch, you could spend a whole bunch of time reading, you can jump into a virtual machine, you can learn everything you need to learn, then you could apply it to real hardware, and then you're done. 
And then you start another learning experience. How do you install, how do you install packages? Uh, how do you do system maintenance? Things like this. I have videos on all of that. Anyway, without taking up too much of your time, uh, that's the newest version of Arch install as of December the 1st. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.